Hello everybody, this is Jack and Patty, Ali, Kat and everybody. I'm so glad that you could make it. Uh, I created this uh, image, <laughs> a kind of funny. Um, if you see a little bit more close, uh, I used the uh, colors from Google because SEO is more or less about Google. So I uh, hope you see in my screen, uh, hear my voice well. I will do my best to make it fun, make it uh, educational, make it that end of this training, you feel it was worth your time. Now, you're probably wondering, and I, I do, I do, is SEO dead? What do we think? What do you guys think is SEO dead nowadays? Maybe 10 years not, but today is as you that. What do you guys think? Enter yes if you think as you is that, or enter no if you think as you is not that. EF said no, Frida said no, William, hi. <laughs> yes, said for a long time you were not very interested because of the time. I agree. I was not interested in SEO. And the main reason why I was not interested in SEO was it's time consuming. But we saw that. Now, at most of you guys said SEO is not that. But actually, if you ask an average person, not you guys are educated, but an average person, people say SEO is that. But so we decided to look at, at the data. So I loaned, I, I got this from uh, Neil Patel. He's very good in SEO. So he collected um, website traffic. And Gary, this is probably your interest. So uh, uh, over 220, 221, 222, and 223. And the orange here, you'd have to kind of understand this graph bar. The orange is at 100%, 100. Oh, OK. I, 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 I should not click on it, but the, you see my mouse is 100. So in 221, the year after, it is 108%. So 8.5% more than 220. And in 2021, 22 is actually 9% more. And, and 223 is same about 109%. So SEO is not that. We, we all agree with that. We all agree that SEO is not, there hasn't declined. Now, at least we can conclude it hasn't declined. So that's good to know. And for years, actually since 2009, I have to be honest, myself, I have not worked a lot of SEO. I did not. It was time to get it 100% right. I didn't want to spend time on SEO. But you know what? Google has become so expensive. Google Ads, those clicks. So nowadays, in 2024, we need to balance it out. We need to balance it out between natural search, Google Business Profile, paid ads, and service ads. Actually, you want to use all traffic methods at the moment because those clicks are too expensive. So we should use, uh, we should do Google Ads, paid ads as an ROI, but not stop there. We, I kind of stopped there, but uh, that's not good. Yes, yeah, so I would prefer all organic if I could. Yes, and when you start a business and you're new, and you have no history, you want to use paid ads because that is, I don't know if you guys have relatives or you have your own business in the past. It takes time to break even. And you want to be as soon as possible break even. And you only get there when, uh, you guys see my screen or not? I thought you guys see my screen. Did I not share it? Huh? Uh, Dale said, I can see your screen. Most people can see it. Okay. So uh, what I want to say is, 
it takes time to break even. Uh, the only way to get break even is to get customers. To, 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 so, and how do and how do you get customers to send traffic to the website? And that is paid traffic. But the, but those months that you exist, you don't have to stop with paid ads. You work on Google Business Profile. You work on Net SEO. You work on citations. You work on blog posting. You work on everything to get free traffic because who doesn't love it? free is not free because every every action takes time and time is not for free but you, but at least you don't need to pay google for the click so google ads is very good if you have a positive roi okay it's always good every business should use it but also every business should not stop there so on average side, what we just uh, on average side saw an increase in SEO traffic by nine, eight to eight percent over three years. So I guess <laughs> SEO is not bad. Okay, here comes the meat of today's training. Use this five SEO tips on your website, and you know your SEO will soar. Okay, they are not hard. I promise you will understand it. They are not that hard. Still, we don't pay enough attention to it. One, one, keyword utilization. Keyword utilization. You should include important relevant keywords within the website copy and semantically related topics with your content to help people and service and clearly understand what your service and products you provide. So, um, if Google doesn't know, why your website is about, why, it, why they cannot send good traffic to it. So you need to tell Google what the traffic is, what the website is about. You need to provide content, relative content to the website searcher. So if they use, if they use Plumber in Boca Tom, then show Plumber in Boca Tom in your website. Huh? So it is not that hard. We just need to do it. So you know, even if you use a template, you should see, you should check where do I use the the, the keyword plumber, and you just add the city or local plumber, huh? or you say your nearby plumber in your area. So a little bit creative, creative, but you should look for it, huh? Okay, everybody got number one. Number two, this is not hard, but you have to work for it. You have to make a choice for it. You should ensure that your website and content are optimized for your audience and search it like Google through the optimization of content, search intent, meta tiles, URLs, visual ads, alt text, and internal linking. So what I mean is you need kind of tell Google with keyword, with with uh, site name, with meta tags, what your website is about. How more accurate you tell what your website is about, how more Google will send traffic. That's the on-site performance, correct? Not that hard. Not that hard. Okay, speed. Okay, we all know, but we pay to not enough attention to it. If your website takes too long to load, they're gone. Huh? You, you can't guarantee that now frustrated because we're leading, we're heading to somewhere else. So that is why I say I love WordPress. I do love WordPress, but they have one disadvantage. The data has to come up from a database. You know, that takes time. Yeah, you, know, you have those cash plugins, and I, I actually I created them too. It helps enormously, but it cannot beat an HTML site. So that's why we created Rapify actually. Now there were two reasons why we created Rapify. One is I was done with hacking. I was done with hacking. My clients were done with hacking. I was done with hacking. 
I didn't, well, no hacking anymore. That was reason number one. Reason number two is there was a lot of benefits, HTML website. You know, they, they look nice, they, lo they load fast, huh? and uh, uh, they look nice and load fast. Well, no hacking, load fast, look nice. Happy fast. Yeah, should uh, you uh, name it three R's? But ac actually, speed is important. Speed is important because it is about customer experience. And Gary said, Rapify is simple to use. Actually, it is. And we are making it, we are working on an improvement uh, in the back end. So it always get better. So if you had uh, uh, tried Rapify a couple of months ago or whatever, you see improvements all the time. And uh, you can improve website loading speed by optimizing images. Yes, images is important. Don't use big images. It consists of slow loading assets on your page, fixing technical errors, of course, and optimize your website for mobile. Yes, mobile, mobile, mobile. Uh, I got a new client. Uh, I had a call with him on Monday. And he said to me, Jack, I only want to uh, do pay, pay call only. And he said, I only want to do mobile. Yeah. I said, call only, only show on the mobile. Yes, only on mobile. Uh, why? They ask? Yeah, because most customers, they, they call with mobile. I say, okay, I know that. But with, even when you have a website uh, on a mobile, uh, they will call with the mobile. So it's not per definition call only. So I'm not against call only. Actually, I like call only. But when they say, I only get calls from a mobile. That doesn't mean that the ad is only call only. Does that make sense? Well, it's a side note. That was my experience on Monday. Um, actually, my father-in-law, he is, uh, I think he's 88 or something like that. And we explained him, uh, his, his phone was not working because his cable to his phone line was broken. So a couple of days we couldn't call him and they fixed it. And, uh, the discussion came up with that. Um, do you still have a phone? I said, Yeah, we have a mobile uh, and a and a normal phone. And he called it normal phone, the landline, but in his mind, it's a normal phone. I said, No, we don't have that since ten years. <laughs> yeah, both you guys have still a landline. And the, yes, if you do, <laughs> I I haven't since. Ooh, I don't know, more than ten years. I don't have uh, a landline. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, oh, <laughs> all of you guys do, Arlene, Patty, Gary. So maybe I am different. So I am different because I don't like phone calls. I have to say that. I, I only text. Since tax is uh, invented, I text more than I call. Patty said I used the landline for fax me. Yeah, that's okay. For a different reason, backup communication. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. Uh, I don't have too many. Uh... The only thing, when my phone is not working, my internet is not working, and that is a problem. But since uh, I have fiber cable, it almost never happens. So if you in the area have fiber, no, don't think twice. Okay, we have a speed. Three. Or four now internal linking it sounds logical and it is but we have to take for link so adding clickable links connecting pages on your domain which mentioned the same topic will keep the user on your website for longer yes 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 a starlink move of you guys know starlink if not then you will hear it in the coming years yeah that is that is amazing correct John, you have Starlink. Yeah, it's a little bit uh, expensive still, but uh, adding clickable links connected to the page on your page uh, matches the same topic. So, so SEO is about if you don't have any knowledge, if you if you said Jack, tell me the thousand feet view on SEO. What is SEO? SEO is about that people like your website. Okay? If, if people like your website, Google measured the average time on your website, 
than uh, they were sat more traffic. Now, how do they measure? How do you, how can you increase the average time in the website? One is to show a video. Second is to show some linking that they can read more. People don't like to read content, so you have to summarize it in, in one or two sentences and then read more, learn more. Now they click through the website, and with clicking through the website, Google measures the bounce rate. That means they don't jump away from your website, they are interested in your website, and that is a plus. So, so if Google finds out that the traffic they send to your website, those those website views like your website, they will send more traffic compared to the competitors. And what, what does that mean, more traffic? It, it means higher ranking. Nice looking, fast loading, average time bounce rate, done. This is as simple, it's kind of simple, but you have to do in the back end, the on-site, the off-site, video, linking, yeah, uh, meta tags, site links, huh? you have to do something for it. But if you want to understand what is SEO, SEO is that you provide value to your website visitor. That's SEO. That is the basis. If you, can, you can keyword stuff the whole uh, paragraph, but if the paragraph has no meaning, is not interesting, and they click away, it makes no sense. Google will not send more traffic because they didn't stay on your website. They click away. They go to they read somebody else's website. So it's not only keyword stuffing. It's not only internal linking. Huh? It's a package. Number five, offsite optimization. Yeah. And that is where I kind of didn't like in the past, I have to say. Oh, I tried it and, you know, all those... Um, citations and backlinking. Who's doing that for me? It's oh, so time consuming. Huh? I did it. I did it kind of as a learning experience. experience. Oh, did it for <laughs> who, who said that? Arlene. Arlene always sees something. Okay, I don't know if I can. Uh... This is number five. Offset optimization. You should ensure your NMP name and address, phone number, information optimized correctly across the third party website, like business directory, such as Google Business Bing, place and for business and collection. Correct? Oh. SEO. Who well, you guys understand SEO now? We all do, correct? You are a digital marketer. It's not that hard. Huh? But you are trained different. You are trained probably in a, in a way that it's complicated. It is not complicated. You just provide value. How, more of, how, how better the website fits experience is, how better this works for SEO. You just have to handshake with Google to tell them where the website is about. The importance of a local SEO for business, the major change in trends in local SEO, and how Google algorithm updates impact local SEO. Keyword research. Who of you guys do proper keyword research? Actually, it is not hard anymore. You just use some tools, correct? Who's using tools? You should use tools. Don't do the hard work yourself. But you know, the, you do the main keyword and you do the local intent keyword. Huh? Good old AI. Yes, AI is on the corner. Use it. Uh, I had a meeting, uh, I always have a meeting on, on the Monday with Cynthia, and we were discussing the person who don't use AI to help them with their business, with digital marketing, will lose out. The person who will learn all those AI tools, the best is likely set up for success. You guys understand what I'm saying? You guys what I'm saying? So it is it is not an option anymore. 
it is not an option. It is not optional anymore to use AI because if somebody else uses AI, they can do things ten times faster. They can do likely better now. I used to create emails. I, 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 I always, I, every day I send emails. Actually, the email you got from today was also created by, by AI. You guys have seen that my email today. I, I had it to work for it. I Normally, I do that in um, ChatGPT. I use an email and I get the result. But... This time was not so easy. So I had to dig deeper and do a couple of more searches and, and put them in the Google Doc and mix things together. But on the other hand, and I feel that really is uh, if I didn't have a starting point, it would be much harder to create an email. Agree? So it's much easier to edit something than to come up from scratch. There was a uh, related topic if you uh, guys are interested. So we are, I, I'm working with Cynthia on a new product and we need a video, a sales video on the website. And it is uh, how I create videos. I'm not sure if I told that already. So all those AI tools, what do they miss? They miss feelings, correct? They miss uh, a connection. They are too static, too cold. They miss empathy. So what I do is, <laughs> and it really works for me, because I am passionate, I'm emotional, I have an opinion. Huh? So first I write down what I feel, and it's very blunt, it's very sharp edges. It's not good English, it is just ideas kind of thing. And that is my starting point for the video. The introduction is more or less same for every sales video. The heart is what I just said, and then the close call to action. So that is how I also create emails. I I I try to think what frustrated me when I started, when I, what I wanted to solve, what I wanted to train, what I wanted to offer. So the frustrating point. Then I have to write it down and, and make sure that sentence, that paragraph is waved in the email because it is the emotion, it is the connection who get the call to action. Okay, keyword reserve. So it's uh, use AI tools. Use uh, most of the guys has uh, AI Studio Suite. It, it's so easy to get keywords. Huh? On page optimization for local search ranking. Optimize title, text, meta description, URL, schema. Okay, what is schema? I think we discussed it earlier. Correct? What is schema? Schema is just a file which can communicate with Google. And Google scraped all those websites and tried to make something, make sense of it, like it is about a plumber in Boca Raton. But you can also tell via schema that the site is up about the plumber in Boca Raton. So you create a file telling Google that the site is about, and that is the schema file. Now, Google, if Google has two sites equally, you know, same sets, except one has a schema file and the other one has no schema file, who will win? The, Google said, I'm more certain that this site is about Plumber Bogaton, and the other one I have to guess. So they will send the traffic, they will rank the site with the schema file above the site but has not the schema file. So it is, ranking is competition. Ranking is you want if you faster loader side, faster loading side, better keywords, 
has schema, nice looking, uh, website visitors stays long on the website, internal linking, a lot of citations, and you win. Bingo. It is not that hard, but it takes certain steps. But you know, Google is also Google Ads costs also money. So you know, you have to work for it. You, if you get paid like thousand dollar, fifteen dollar per month to do the digital marketing for a business, you can do something for it, correct? Or you hire somebody who can do it for you. The power of Google Business Profile, claiming and optimizing your Google Business Profile listing, gaining and managing reviews, leveling Google My Business Profile insights. Citation and local link billing. The role of citation in local SEO. Building and managing local citation strategies for effective local link billing. Yeah, backlinking. Now, this is the point I didn't like so much uh, in the past. Huh? I, I was okay to do the site, but all those uh, business directories and linking. So let us dig deep. Understanding local SEO in 2024, the importance of local SEO for business, major changes in trends in local SEO and how Google updates local SEO. The importance of local SEO for business, local SEO search engine optimization. I don't know if you guys know or know that, correct? SAO, search engine, so that's Google, more or less, optimization. Has become an essential component for every business online marketing strategy. And if not, it should become, because Google is becoming expensive. There are several reasons why SEO is important for business. Increase online visibility, makes sense. Better engagement with customers, yes. So if your site is optimized for the content for your website visitor, you get better results, more conversions. Increase food traffic and sales, yes. If they see your website, more business will come in, in the store. Improve brand credibility. Yes, if your site is ranking higher than other sites, it says something about your business. It gives an impression. Keyword research for local SEO. How to identify local keywords and phrases, analyze your competitive keywords. Yeah, and that is what we not every day do, correct? So you want to be able to look up competitors' keywords, learn from, think about it, huh? and see what is fit for your business. Low keywords are the backbone for local SEO strategy. Yes, you need to know and you need to study which keyword works for your business. Start with the basic, combine your primary, key, key, primary business keywords with local uh, specific terms. I do that always. So a plumber website, the basic keyword is plumber. And then local specific terms like plumber in Boston, plumber Boston, emergency plumber in Boston. Uh, simple. If, if So you cannot compete with general keywords like plumber in general. You will not compete. The local intent, you, the amount of competitors which you need to compete with is much smaller. Here you want to win. And if you lag in a city like Boca Raton, 150,000 people, and you rank for number one or number two or number three, you know, in the top three, you get a lot of traffic. Think like your customers. Now, that is a that is really, I learned it from Cynthia more or less. I I knew it, but I didn't never did it, uh, never did it, uh, 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 not by purpose, but uh, systematic. So, when you want to analyze a business, you have to. Behave like a customer. You type in plumber or burger in Google and see how your website is ranked, how your Google Business Profile is ranked, and think about is that this make that description make sense? Does it are there professional reviews? Are there professional images? Huh? Think like a customer. Why do I say that? Uh, when, why do I emphasize this? If you want a new customer, just show them how they are doing online. That's it. End of the meeting, what will they say? Can you fix that for me? That will they say. Make sense? 
So just, just demo what an average customer will see. Use long tail keywords. Yeah, you will not rank for the main keywords. You know, the business practice will show up and other ads will show up. So you will not rank for the main keywords. But you will rank for the local intent keywords. You can rank. And you should work on it. Analyze competitive keywords. Yeah, there are all kinds of AI tools for that. Huh? So make a list of competitors in the right business in your area that's similar, that offer similar products and ranking well in local search. Analyze their content. Yes. Educate yourself. Get IDs, put them in Google Doc, mix them together, and, and decide together with your client where they want to focus on. Yeah. Maybe they want to focus on emerging because that is a strong point. They have 24 7 service. Or they don't do emergency. They want to focus on toilet repair. That is where they get the most customers from. So focus that, put that on the home page. Use tools, yeah. Yeah, nowadays it's all about AI tools, correct? So forget about all other tools. AI is the new tool, new boy in town. Now that you know the importance of local keywords and how to analyze your competitors, let's explore some great tools and affect the need to even affect them more. Yeah. Google Keyword Planner. So some of you guys might not have Google Keyword Planner. Get an account, create a Google Ads account, an MCC account, create a uh, company, enter your credit card, enter one dollar. As long as it has a valid uh, credit card and you spend at least one dollar per month or something like that, you have an active account. So you have a Google ad, you have a keyword planner, you have a keyword tool for one dollar per month. That's how I no, always I have to say strong. That is why I often do use a Google Keyword Planner. Google Trends, just see what is work in your area. You know, um, how many searches do you get? If you don't care, if you have a lead generator website and uh, you just want to sell leads, let's say you want to sell pools. <laughs> that is a very... Uh, predictable, but you know, you, you will not see a lot of pools requests in the north of the uh, United States. And you will see that with Google Trends, which states, which cities have the most pool requests. Don't forget about intent. Understanding the intent behind search squares can help you create content that better match with you are looking for. So buy near me best. So always, not always, but um, if you are able to think like a user, a, a potential customer, and you can judge what you like to see and what you see, then you can serve your client well. That is probably that is uh, um, that that is why you often stay with a few niches. Because, you know, everybody has the same hours in a week. Everybody want, but don't want to work harder than necessary. If you only uh, concentrate on a few niches, you become specialist. You know what works and doesn't work. You know how customer, what customers' questions uh, are and how you can address it on the website. On page of the page, we already covered that. We will cover Title text, mid description, optimize title text, mid description, you ask these three elements play a significant role in your website. Visibility search. Here's how to optimize your local search. Title text, make sure your title text includes targeting local keywords. Yeah, so that's why you want to do the keyword research in the beginning. Meta description, use AI tools for that. Huh? And then edit a little bit and you're done. Then uh, URLs, keep URLs clean and straightforward. Yeah, so make sure the URL doesn't have an, uh, an hyphen or whatever. Schema markup. You already touched base on that. It's a file to handshake with Google. Don't need to use local business schema. 
the power of Google Business Profile. We will explore Google Business Profile privacy in Google My Business and how it can help business thrive in local search. Claiming Google Business Profile is all easy. Oh, they actually did a new one. Uh, has to now be the video. You guys knew that. Uh, probably I will update the training for that. You have to do it now with the video. Claim your listing, search for your business in Google, and click on Claim This Business. Complete your profile, fill all the fields out. Add photos and videos. Yes, every field where you can enter a value, you should enter a value. That's how you get the best uh, result. Choose the right categories. Reviews are natural. Reviews are essential. Yeah, who is doubting that? Reviews are so important, correct? Who does review management? Any of you guys? Enter yes or no if you do review management for any of your clients. Yeah. Many of you guys. Uh, William. You know, what is the beauty of reviews? Customer sees result and you get paid monthly for a long time. Huh? William's doing it, Ron is doing it. Yeah, everybody should do it. And go ask customers to leave reviews. Yes, reviews are money, correct? More reviews, more sales. Respond to all reviews. Yeah. So um, interact also online with with your uh, customers. So that other new potential customer can see that you provide service. Monitor your reviews. Yeah, yeah. make sure you see those reviews and, and you react to not good reviews and react also to good reviews, but monitor. Strategic and local bidding. Yeah. There this kind of becomes interesting. We dive into the world of citation and local link building, essential components of successful local SEO strategy. We will explore the role of citation in local SEO, discuss building and managing local citation. The role of citation in local SEO. Citation are online mentioned of your business name. So you have to think on, you know, I, I mentioned already Google is crawling the website, every server, every website, every domain, they crawl and they collect information. And if they see your business name in a certain way, they give you, oh, that business is important. Get a point, first point. And how often they come across your business name, you get more points. And more points means higher ranking. Improve search engine visibility. Yes, more citations, higher ranking. Enhance credibility. Yes, how more citations, how more credible your business is. Drive local traffic. Yes, how more visitors, how, how high the ranking, how more visitors, how more sales. Building and manage local citation. Building and manage local citation is an ongoing process. Here are some tips to help you get started. Audit your existing citation. Yes, you don't want to get crap on the interline of the internet. Ensure NAP consistency. Make sure that the uh, business name, the address, and phone number is consistent. Choose the right directories. Yeah, focus on, on business directories in your, air, in, in your area. Monitor and update your citation. Regular check your citation and accuracy for update to date. So if the business changes address or phone number, the business link needs to also get updated. Strategies for effective local link building. Local building is about getting high quality relevant backlinks from other websites in your area. Here are some strategies for effective local link building. Partner with local business. Yes, that, 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 that part, I did it in the past um, and it was time consuming to me. I didn't like that this part. I still don't like it, but I mentioned, okay? It is good, but I have to say I don't like it. Create local content, that is fine. Engaging in PR, no, uh, local PR. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe with AI, actually, it is not so difficult as, as in the past. But uh, that, was, that was also not my strength. Sponsor local events and organizations. Yes, that's good. 
as for you know you are social if your business want to do that that's fine then help the local community always good that was local influence or submit your business listening to local citation role oh. here we go do you have a solution yes we have a solution so the part what i like the least i came up with a solution because i came to the conclusion that SEO has become very important. I loved and I still love Google Ads. I still love paid traffic and I do still pay traffic, but it is expensive traffic. And I know, and I know, um, um, ROI is good. I make still make money. I make clients make money. But I am not born only to make Google richer. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to work for Google. I want to Google serves me instead of I work for Google. <laughs> yeah. That's basically it. <laughs> I'm okay to pay Google, but if I haven't pay, I don't need to pay Google, I don't pay Google. So we created the uh, local citation Prilla Pro uh, with, uh, you know, with all those business directories around you, 300, and the uh, link billing get all automatically. Now, you're probably wondering, Jack, what is the news? And we have some news for you. And let me try to show it to you, okay? There's always a question if it all works because I have to change screen. You guys see my screen now? This is the new interface from Local Citation Pro. It's all updated. Um, it's not live yet. It got live this week, but I wanted to show you now uh, because we have the webinar. So it shows the businesses very clear uh, what it is. You can enter the business, just add business, enter all that information. And that's the only thing you need to do. Enter the business name, the phone number, the business email, response time, time, contact name, address. So the basic information. That is all you need to do. Doesn't sound amazing. It, it's amazing. And then it gets posted to 300 business directories. What do you guys think? You guys like the new interface? What you, just say if you what you think. And it's new. But you worked on it for a while to get a better interface. Kim said it's nice. Gary is nice. Good. Now, but we didn't stop there, of course. Huh? We created post log. So you can see exactly what is going on with business name, the address, phone number, where it was submitted. You click on the link and you can follow. Now you can track exactly what is going on. Cat, cat said, I have this, but I haven't used it yet. Yeah, cat, you know, it's good. Gary is using it like crazy and he gets really good backlinking. So, so you should use it. We also have the white label, you know, that you can enter your own domain name. You can create sub users if you want them to have login to the business. There's all kinds of support, bonuses, everything is in this. So this is a complete interface now. It has took a couple of months to come to this level, but it is good. It is really good. You, you can download as a CSV file. Uh, Directories, CSV. Oh. You have a PDF and print. Yeah, you can. I thought you could. So that's really even better. That's what uh, Kim asked for. So it's a lot of uh, new. Ron said, I have 25 clients in your system. Ron, you're doing good. Yeah, system is busy for you. Ah, for many, but also for you. So you can get custom access. Yes, you can give the customers access to it. They can all exactly see what they do. 
You can also see the URLs that need to active. Yes, you can. So you go to posting, and it, those are all business directories where they have posted to. You can see when this post. So now you get uh, a better tracking, more, no, an easier tracking. Good. So that is uh, your solution to make SEO much easier. You, know, you have to do the on-site. You know, there's no really tool for it, except that you want to do the keyword research and uh, use an AI tool for the business script. I even do the business description with an AI tool, but the keyword, uh, you have to do the local intent a little bit. So the on-site, the off-site, if fast loading, um, HTML, preferably, small images, nice looking, video, Google Biz profile, and backlink, you use the citation portal. You're done. Basically, you're done. So basically, the, the time consuming part is done. Time consuming part. And we even have a blog post in it. And uh, Akshia, uh, Ashika is working on with Gary with that. Yeah. What do you guys think? It's not amazing. So I'll let me be clear. I still love Google Ads. But I don't like to pay Google so much money if I don't need. So that is why I think, uh, because SEO still works, we should also spend time on SEO. And Gera said, Citation Pro is a no-brainer. So with that said, I thank you guys for your time. I really enjoyed this training. If I didn't ask you a question, as always, send me supporting that support at jackhopman.com. If you see this video on YouTube, give the like. If you liked it, leave a comment. Uh, I'm always around, and I love to see you on the next training next Tuesday, 8 p.m. EST. Thank you so much.